Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, fellas and females. This is your boy, Prophet Peeps, a.k.a. Stockmark, a.k.a. Mark Peeps, whatever you want to call me. Hope everybody out there enjoying a weekend. Okay, I want to bring to y'all another beautiful video that's nothing about something negative. It's all about something positive, and that's going to help us elevate as a people, lift our community up, and we can get to where we belong in life to help elevate our families, our children, our mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, everybody that's around us. You know, I'm bringing you another great video that's going to encourage you to take it to the next level, okay? I need y'all to do me a favor out there. I need y'all to hit that like button, bump and grind against that like button, baby. <laughs> and share the video, subscribe, okay? Watch my other videos, tell some people about it, okay? And just get some encouragement, just get some motivation. That's what these videos is all about, motivating. Okay, I speak nothing. I speak about nothing other than the stock market, real estate, money management, things going to help us, things that's going to help us continuously grow. So we're coming from the year of 2020 into 2021. So now we got to, we had it bad this year. We lost a lot of people, a lot of jobs has been lost, you know. A, a lot of time has been wasted on not being able to do things and go anywhere and show up the way we wanted to. OK, so we have to. This was a time in 2021 to build a mindset of how to be able to save money, how to be able to develop a business mind. We had we had much time to think of this. We had. A lot of time to sit and contemplate on how we want to build up ourselves. If you haven't, you need to get your mind right. What we want to do this year coming into 2021, we want to first and foremost, if you don't have one, get yourself a bank account. Okay. A bank account is very important. Okay. It helps you be able to not have your money on hand and pay bills online that need to be paid and it helps you not be able to spend money just like that because it's in your hand okay you can save much better you can put money in your savings everybody should know this but i'm just here to reconfirm so it's important to have a bank account okay you can have your job send the money directly to your bank account pay your bills you ain't got to touch nothing else Put a little gas in your vehicle and, you know, maybe order out for your family and you don't have to do anything else. Number two, you want to focus on building your credit. What I mean by building your credit, all right? You want to be able to have a relationship with something that you don't have to ask or explain anything to. For instance... Well, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about by saying this is that if you down and out, don't have nothing, what you normally do, what people normally do, people normally ask somebody, can you let me hold this till I get paid or can I get this amount of money so I can pay my rent? I'll pay you back later. Those times should be over. Your best friend should be your credit card, Visa, Master or Discover card. That should be your best friend. Okay? Now, so when you borrowing from your best friend, which is your Visa Master Discover card, you're going to pay them back. And you're going to always be able to borrow. And you should be, always be able to pay it back. Okay? The Visa Master Discover card is always there. American Express, whatever. It's always there when you need it. You don't ever have to ask nobody for nothing. So, this is where I'm going at with it. You're building your credit up, all right? So you've been paying your friend back, and that's how you build your credit. And you build your credit to a point to where as though you're able to purchase many things as far as vehicles, houses, and so on and so forth, all right? So now when it comes to, you know, 
buying things as far as a home. You know, for instance, you'll actually save up an amount, a, a great amount of down payment to be able to purchase a home, be able to purchase a house, and you can either rent it out or you can sell it. Okay, you can rent it out, get passive income, you know, which is considered residuals rule more likely, and you can survive off that and repeat the process buying more and more properties with good credit. And that's how people have residuals. So for instance, you'll be able to take that rent money and be able to pay off the house that you're in at the present time, which you'll be working at your job and all that money will be yours or be put to the side for utilities or, or, or certain things that just need to be fixed in the house that you're renting out. You can sell that house, keep the big profit, put into another house, flip that and do the same thing. And I know it sound like I'm making it sound easy, you know, it's what you put your mind to. It won't be as easy to be honest, but you can make it easy. You can take the time and you can actually, it's all about money. Everything is all about money. You save your, you save up your money. And once you save amount of money, you can always put a nice down payment, which will make the mortgage lower on the houses that you purchase. The bigger, the bigger you put the down payment, the lower the mortgage will be. So if you save up a nice amount of money, for instance, if you're living with your mom or if you got a good job and you just not going out or buying anything, you just saving, saving, saving. You can buy this other house and put a big down payment on it and pay a small monthly mortgage, rent it out or pay the mortgage to the value go up and then sell it and make the profit that way. OK, or you can actually put the money into the stock market. OK, you can take that money, put it into the stock market, invest in some 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 stocks why it's small once that stock grow that's when you sell it okay rather day-to-day -day trading you can make money day-to-day -day trading if you know a stock opening in the market small and you see it later on that day and you purchase that stock and you see it later on that day and it got higher throughout the day then you can snatch those profits okay you could have for instance if if apple was 113 it went down 113 day trading will be buying in buying 100 shares of apple at 113 knowing that it's going to skyrocket later on in the day later on in the day it can go at least i'll say one 117 118 then you take those profits okay five times 100 you do the math even though it gained 500 dollars, you do the math when it comes to Actually, call options and puts, that's a different story because now we're talking options. Now, we got from day trading, okay? Day trading is considered just taking the profits that day or swing trading is considered just buying it and waiting until it go up to a certain amount and then selling. Later on in the week, later on two weeks, it could be months from now. That's considered swing trading, all right? Now, options, calls and puts is when you make the money. Puts is when it's going down and you make the money, okay? And causes when it go up and you make money, all right? So look into the stock market, okay? You can definitely build your wealth from there. Don't spend it, okay? And keep the process going like as if like, like if it's not there, like if the, the funds is not there. You have to pretend your money is not there, but keep building it up, keep building it up and just act like you don't have it. That's how you become rich. And that's how we're going to walk in 2021 with the mindset to put money into investments. Don't touch it. Learn the game that we invested it in. And we withdraw. And we continuously build, continuously build. Right. So I want you all to do one thing. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. OK. And remember, winners respect winners. Lead us, run with leaders, and good followers. Always follow good leaders to become a good leader. I'm going to say that again. Now, winners run with winners, and leaders run with leaders. And good followers always follow good leaders to become a good leader. All right? Y'all be safe out there. Peace and love. Your boy, Prophet Peeps. 
gone. Your boy.